Welcome to day four of the 30 days of learning data analysis using Power BI Track. In this video, I'm going to show you data visualization at the click of a button. We've done a lot of visualization with Excel. It's time to start moving in gradually into Power BI. So without necessarily doing so much with your hands, getting your hands dirty in Power BI, I want to show you how you can even understand value and the benefits of Power BI beyond, you know, uh, without even writing a code. And that is why we have data visualization at the click of a button. So I will show you how Power BI actually integrates into Microsoft 365 apps and services, considering three major services today. One is Microsoft Teams. How does Power BI integrate with Teams? We will say that. The second one is SharePoint List. How does it integrate with SharePoint List? We will consider this. And lastly, PowerPoint. Wow. I'm actually doing this presentation on PowerPoint. And you mean Power BI also integrate to PowerPoint? I'm excited and I will share this with you as well. Of course, it does. So let's get to work so that we can just do the demo on time and you see for yourself and you also do it yourself. Right. So right now, I'm going to switch to my office. Oh, let's start with Microsoft Teams, by the way. So I've put on my Teams on my system and make sure that you sign in with your developer account. Right now, my developer account is signed in. All our channels at mspartin.microsoft.com. And the next thing for me to do is to install Power BI in case you don't have it installed. And how do I do that? I can go to apps here. And right here, I can search for Power BI, but most of the time, we are likely going to see it at the first layer here, which is what I can see, Power BI. So I'm going to click on Power BI, and I can click on Add. So when I click on Add, automatically it adds it to my Microsoft Teams, and you can see at the left-hand side, that, oh, it's even there, got it. So I'm going to pin it. How do you pin? By right-clicking on it and say pin. That way, it gets pinned there, so you can easily access it. All right, for you, in case you are using your newly created developer account to do this, you may not get so much of data, you know, in terms of what I want to demonstrate today. So, got it, and you're going to see all these good money online watches, money over here, and this is it. But where I'm going to right now is go to create. Now, get to that button called create. We want to go to create menu. We just want to see how Power BI actually integrates. And there are three things here. You can paste your data or enter it manually. You can pick an already published Power BI data set or analyze your team's data. Analyzing your team's data means all the conversations. It's called personal analytics. All the conversations you've had, the meetings, engagement, everything. You want to analyze it and have that insight. Have you ever used an application that shows a summary of how much is being charged for airtime recharge? or SMS charges. If you use that kind of app that just sort of visualize it, you'll be so surprised. Oh, you mean this is how much I spent on airtime in a month? <laughs> you don't know. That's the advantage of personal analytics. Have you ever used the app to track your, your, you know, maybe your steps and all those things, what you do, your blood pressure and the rest, maybe a sleep ring or your, you know, eye watch and the rest or smart watch. If you do that and you look at the trend, you'll be surprised. Oh, you mean I took this? You mean I did this? Yes. So that is how personal analytics can be really revealing. Same thing we are doing here to understand your pattern, your work patterns, your meeting patterns in Teams. So let's go ahead and click on Analyze Your Teams data. I was spending time talking because that's what I need to do to get you guys engaged because I really don't have to do anything when it comes to building the dashboard. And that's the benefit. Let me focus on the stakeholders to get them engaged and not so much of time running or building dashboard. As you can see on my screen right here, I have it. Beautiful. I didn't do anything. And it wasn't like I've done it before. No. This is the power of Power BI and its integration to Microsoft 365 apps and services. As you can see right now, it gives breakdown of my meetings and engagement for the past 90 days. You can see here, 90 days. Wow, this is impressive. And what else again? I can narrow this down to Teams activity. What are different teams I've been part of? And what are the activities, kind of activity that took place there? You can see a lot of teams here, but I'm not even interested in that. I can move to Teams activity details, where it also summarizes. You can see it's even interpret, natural language processing, interpret and bring insight from my data. Wow, that's awesome. So back to my activity. Fantastic. It's done. 
and this file has been created. I can decide to share by clicking here, share, and that way people get to interact with it. I'm still coming back here. So the next I'm going to share with you is this integration of Power BI to Office um, SharePoint list. So let's go straight back to Office Portal and locate SharePoint. Right here, I have logged into my Office Portal. If you want to do your, just go to office.com, then log in with your developer account. And of course, we are we should be getting familiar with this portal now. You know, as someone who is working in an organization that uses Office 365 or Microsoft 365, this portal is your go-to portal where you can access every possible applications you have access to. So for me, I am looking for SharePoint list. I can click on this waffle button here, and I'm going to say SharePoint. Then I'm going to click on SharePoint. This takes me to SharePoint. We have dealt with SharePoint a little bit. It's <laughs> SharePoint is a document management system as well as it's more than that it's also a content management system let me put it that way content managers management system you can use to create site intranet you can still use the same sharepoint to house document to store files and like i've said repeatedly most of the files or document in office 365 ecosystem resides in sharepoint one way or the other they link back to sharepoint right my focus here is for you, you can actually create sites by clicking on create site here and determine that you want to create a team site. I would advise you to create a team site. I'm not creating that now. I'm just going to go to one of my sites. Um, I think Udemy class is one time that I created a course for Udemy. So this is fine. This is a team site and I can actually create my SharePoint list here. What is SharePoint list? Very similar to Excel, but it's not Excel. It is pseudo database. It does not have spreadsheet capability like Microsoft Excel, but the tabular format you can store, you can use as a pseudo database to store your information and to do list activities. Okay, so if I click here and say list, that's the new list, one of those you can create in Excel, uh, in SharePoint. And you're going to see, you do want to create from blank or from an already existing Excel or, you know, from existing list or from other template, like I can see right here. For me, I want to create from Excel and I can locate, where am I creating for, do I have the data here? Look, nope, I can upload file. I'm going to upload file from the financial sample data that we'll be working with that. Exactly, that's what I'm going to upload right now. The financial sample data is in my download and right there you can see financial sample, I'm going to click on OK. So it's loading the Excel file. Right now, it is loading the tables and fetching data within the table. Of course, this is what you can find. Oh, this data, I can find all these things. Are they correct? Are they accurate? The unit, the, the, the value. I mean, is this single line of test or it should be numbers? So you can change them here. But everything is fine, actually. So I'm going to click on Next. And I'm to name it, so I'm going to call it Financial sample data. Do I want to show it in the navigation menu? It should be accessible at the left hand side. There. Yes, I'm going to click on create. The moment I click on create, it, it will start loading the data. It might take some minutes, depending on the volume of the data you are creating automatically from SharePoint list. I need to wait for some minutes, but right now I think the data is done uploading. Amazing. So just like that it looks like Excel. you can see but it's actually not Excel because i can't just directly start editing you know or work on or write formula even though it has no calculated column but it's not just Excel. all right so how do we then do the integration between power bi and sharepoint list good right here you can see integrate i can come here to integrate and you see power apps can integrate power automate can integrate power bi that's our focus then I'm going to click on visualize the list. It will sign me in into Power Apps. It will ask you to log in, log in with your developer account. And um, if it logs in and not do anything, you can close the tab, go back again and retry. But for me, it's used to logging in. And right now it's performing the magic. Going through that data. Wow. <laughs> ah, this is awesome. Can not believe this. I mean, I just click on visualize data and right here I have dashboard built for me without doing anything so here remember the focus the effort is not on 
building all these kind of bar charts and the rest is rather on what value, what answer are you bringing to the business? So you rethink, you know, and you think through what questions you are trying to ask, you know, answer, and what value you are trying to bring to the business. And you can have more time. If you can click on these things and you get this kind of visualization, you have saved yourself significant time. You can edit. I can edit. I can show the table that relates to this. I can publish. And I want to publish. While publishing, I need to save it. So I'm going to save FD sample. So uh, let's say FD dashboard, financial data dashboard. So I'm going to publish. Click on publish, and that will be it. You see, my report has been published. And me, if I go back now, if I close this dashboard, and now I'm in SharePoint list, if I reload so that I can capture those changes, and come back to integrate, and come to Power BI, I wait, wait a little bit, if you don't wait, it might not synchronize. My the clicking is not there. But I wait for some seconds now. Right now, I can see the dashboard is there. I don't need to recreate it. So the click on dashboard takes you straight to the dashboard. It has done it. You see that integration, you can edit and customize. Oh, I need a bar chart here. No, I need a you know pie chart here. No, I prefer a table here. You can do those things. And that's why you have this button to edit. If I click on edit, it switch me to edit mode, saying that I will lose access to the summarize pane. Do I want to continue summarize pane is there where you can just click on the button and from there it determines what is giving you. Uh, if I click on profit now, it's going to reload, it's <laughs> recalculating and you see the chart differs almost immediately. A lot of things are happening there. He said, I'm going to lose access to that kind of feature that I just click on something and everything happens. Uh, if I go ahead and edit as it is. Of course, sometimes you might want to tailor and customize this chart. What it has done is good. Uh, I can publish these changes now and push it again to my SharePoint list. It's publishing. And it's done. So if I still want to edit, I'll just go ahead and say edit, then continue. And right here, yeah, I can do more. This is Power BI service. So it's the online version of Power BI. And that is what we are leveraging on the strength here. But, you know, we're not going deep. It's just to see how Power BI integrates to SharePoint list. This is fine. And this is where we're stopping for this. Let's go to the third one. And to do that, I need to open up Power. Okay, I don't necessarily have to open it up. Let's go back to Teams. All right, this workshop Teams. As you can see on Teams, I have something here called Share. And I can actually... Include my changes, yes. I can copy this. Remember, you can share, determine the kind of access you are granting. This is okay for me. And I can apply and copy this link to share this dashboard. Uh, I want to show you the magic. Now it's time to talk about integration to PowerPoint. All right. How does this integrate to PowerPoint? That's what we want to see the magic together. So, first thing you need to do is to go to Insert menu, and from insert, you will see get add-ins. You need to install some add-in from the store, and this is Microsoft Power BI. Make sure you search for Microsoft Power BI. You see two. Don't take Power BI types. Take Microsoft Power BI. Click on add, and click continue. It's going to bring in the add-in. I can see right there is on the screen, and it's a request for you to paste the URL to your report. Remember, we've copied one from my dashboard in Teams. So I'm going to paste it. And the next thing is insert. I'm going to click on insert. I will expand this while it's reading the data. I'm going to expand this here. Do you see exactly what I have in my Teams? Teams analytics, that's what is here. It is not a picture. This thing relates. I mean, it's, inter it's interactive. When I go here, if I click on my past seven days, it's going to tell me what happened. It's changing right in my PowerPoint presentation. If you also think back, how does this contribute to value? It means I can give real-time answer to whatsoever dashboard I've built to the stakeholders. My manager wants to see this real-time and or I'm in a presentation, we are talking about, um, we are, I'm in a presentation and we are talking about strategy or we're even analyzing report of one of the recent campaigns 
or team's activity or end of the month performance, you know, management activities or escort meetings, whatsoever meeting that has to do with evaluating and checking business intelligence report and dashboard. You can embed this where you have to do analysis. In the past, a lot of people repeatedly, you know, will be having slides with screenshot with screenshot of numbers and figures. But this, you don't have to. The moment you can build the template to suit your needs, all you have to do is just to, you know, analyze by diving, the, diving deeper. You can click on one, you know, uh, to, to filter. You see everything is featuring is responsive. And, oh, let's go for the last seven days. Oh, let's consider the team activity now. Okay, team so-so-so, come out, come out, tell us about your activity. Is there. The result is there. Real time. You know, that is awesome for me. And this comes to the end of this session. The goal here is to show you that there are some quick wins you can get for the business without necessarily writing any functions even in Power BI. With click with the, at the click of a button, you can get a lot of this visualization. All right, thank you, and bye.